What is up everybody, it's Ice Friend Jules and it's Benji and welcome to a quick tutorial on how to stop your Minecraft from crashing. Now I know that some people don't have the option to dedicate more RAM to your Minecraft client, but if you even if you have like two gigabytes on your computer or three or four gigabytes, you're probably better off allocating more than one. So in this video I'll be showing you how to do that and also how to install Optifine just because it increases your FPS and allows you to run the game better and also installing Java 64-bit because that is what you need if you have like a 64-bit computer you need 64-bit of the application to run so in the description there are two links one to Optifine and one to Java the first link is Optifine so if you want to do that, let's do it now. So I'm going to be using Minecraft 1.14.4. This is just because it's the latest version and because it's the easiest. I mean, I don't know. It's not the easiest. They're all the exact same. It's just easier for me because I already have a profile created of 1.14.4. So if you don't already have a profile, open up your Minecraft and go to installations, make a new profile and select 1.14.4 there's a thing flying around me select select the version that you want to install optifine to so in this case it's 1.14.4 select create and then you have to run it so it would take a minute it would, it's like 70 megabytes yeah it has to install and download everything then it'll open up minecraft and then just close that out and now you want to go over to your downloads so um i want to stop my ad block just so you can all see that there's nothing funny going on here so it's an ad fly do not click anything on the page my hands are here see in the top over that way top left top right of the screen <laughs> there's a skip ad button click skip ad and boom 1.14.4 underscore hd underscore u underscore f3 dot jar now there are sometimes some pretty weird ads that are on this page so just avoid them don't click on them because if you click them then you might get something but click the click the little blue link down the bottom left this type of file can harm your computer do you want to proceed yes keep and now you can close this because for some reason it always open, opens Roblox I've never played the game but every single time I do this it does this so I'm just going to close it out and now you can either just click it down the bottom but if you don't see this icon down there if you don't see the little coffee mug with steam coming out of it do not click it go into your downloads folder actually I'll just drag this to the home screen <clears throat> to the home screen um, and pretend it looks like this for example if you double click it nothing's gonna happen like what's gonna happen is this and you, you can't do anything with this so you need to right click you can either do open with and select Java TM platform SE binary SE stands for standard edition so if you don't have this option you need to install that but I have the option so you can right click click properties and just select it click apply click OK, double click it, Optifine HD Ultra F3, so obviously it will change depending on what version you install, it could be later, it could be newer, this thing is flying around me, and <laughs> um, yeah, so you just install, and it's probably going to say you already have a version installed of this, but oh, so Optifine is successfully installed, sick, okay, now, second thing to do, in the description there is this link, www www.java.com now this is the English version so you just want to go over to Java download um, click on download at the top that's the exact same thing never mind so just click on the Java download then down the bottom there is this see all Java downloads button you want to click that now you want to select Windows offline 64 bit so you want to click that and then it will install. It's 76 megabytes, but it is very worth it. It's worth the wait. Some people it's instant. For me, it's about 
20 seconds or so. So while waiting for this, um, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. I'm doing a Minecraft series right now if you wanted to stay tuned and stick around for it, but you know. Um, but yeah, so it's downloaded JRE8U22, yeah, whatever. It depends on when you install this, but as of now, that's the latest one. You just want to double click it. This is the Java installer, by the way. You can now close your Chrome. I'm just going to resume blocking ads again. You can now close your Chrome or your Internet Explorer or whatever. Um, you're basically just agreeing to the terms and conditions here. You can read them if you want. I've done this billions of times. See these three billion devices? All of them are mine. <laughs> but yeah, so while this is installing, what you could do is uninstall your old, your other versions of Java, but I, don't, I just installed this like the other day, so it's not going to change anything for me. But you can do this by going to your search bar and typing control panel. And then going to uninstall the program in the programs feature. And then just sort it by name and find Java, which is here. But that's the only one I have because it just installed it. But say if you have like a 32-bit one or like a really old one, just get rid of it because otherwise it will, confuse, it will confuse your computer. So now that that is done, you can restart your computer. I would recommend it, but it's fine. I'm not going to do that. Now open up your Minecraft, go to the Optifine version that you just installed. This thing is really annoying me. Um, go to the Optifine version you just installed by going to Installations. So this is the one, I believe. Yep. Go over to your right of, of it. Next to Play, there's like a three dots, like a Settings Cog thing. Click it and click Edit. So this is the new launcher, by the way. Um, so I'm just going to call it Optifine 1.14.4 and make sure you're using the correct one. Go to more options and make sure it says this. Now it would be saying this or sometimes even that depending on how much RAM you have. But now you want to go past the, the capital G or the uppercase G, highlight the rest of it, backspace, and change the one to a Four, for example, so it's four gigabytes of RAM that maximum. So it uses between one and four. It's not going to use four all the time. If other things are being used, then it will share it. If it said XMS, I'm pretty sure that's the smallest amount, but you don't have that. So I just want to do this, or say if you want to dedicate two two gigs, do that. Three, eight whatever you want, but mine is four. Now you want to click save and then up the top left, play and select it and then play it. And now obviously it being Optifine, you'll have enhancements as in like better settings, being able to toggle stuff on and off that you can't in vanilla Minecraft and basically just a lot better functionality of the game really. Alright, so now that is loaded up, options, video settings, and see how you can, graphics, fast, fancy, render distance, you can change to 64 chunks, which I'm pretty sure the default you can only do 16, correct me if I'm wrong, maybe even 32. But yeah, um, if you hover over this, I think it just shows you. 2 is tiny, so it's 32 meters, so it's only like 2 chunks, I'm pretty sure. Wait, four chunks because it's 16 in a chunk. No, two chunks, my bad, in every direction. Eight is 128 meters. 16 is, yeah, 32, insane. Blah, blah, blah. So you see how 64 says needs three gigabytes RAM allocated. Um, that just shows that how much having that would use because it would be using that much of your computer to use the game um, so if you want to modify all these settings you can you can go to like fast settings animations you can do like decreased minimal whatever you, whatever you want performance you can smooth FPS on smooth world on and on just 
do everything that um makes a better like performance so this it just depends on everything it depends on your computer anti-aliasing um off obviously is the fastest but if you want to make it look good then you can do like i'm going to do eight it says requires a restart so I'm, I'm going to do this and you can just modify everything you want but um that is how to make sure that your minecraft does not crash um yeah so again two links in the description first one's optifine second one is java if you don't have the java tm platform se binary just google java tm platform se binary download and make sure you're downloading it from either java or like a trusted website don't just download it from like trustthiswebsite.com it's 100 percent legitimate like be smart with your downloading i can assure you that you want that you're not going to get a virus from optifine if you don't click anything dumb and you're not going to get a virus from java because it's java like come on but yeah um that's basically it i hope you all enjoyed i hope this helped again if you aren't subscribed click that button takes not even a second um like the video if it helped share with your friends if they're having troubles with their minecraft as well and stick around because i'm going to be doing more videos almost daily for the last week it's been like daily on my minecraft series so yeah have a good one everyone i'll see you soon peace